All right, here we are. Here we are in Finca San Cayetano. About to enjoy some breakfast and just getting a look at these spectacular views here in Guatemala. Check this out, guys. Nestled in a valley embraced by the majestic Agua, Fuego, and Acatenango volcanoes, the San Cayetano farm thrives in an extraordinary ecosystem. Abundant in rain, gentle winds, warm sun, and drifting clouds create the perfect balance. The valley's unique Boca Costa climate connects the cold northern lands with the warm southern coast, nourishing a diverse wildlife population and fertile volcanic soils. Within this vibrant world, they cultivate exceptional coffee, a labor of love that requires time, patience, and unwavering dedication. Our tour of the farm was an unforgettable experience, both captivating and educational. Getting the water nice and ready. That evening, we eagerly ventured to the restaurant, anticipating a delightful dinner. Our taste buds were treated to a scrumptious feast of delectable pizza, leaving us thoroughly satisfied. To satisfy our sweet tooth, we indulged in a heavenly brownie, San Cayetano style, and complemented it with a couple of expertly crafted cappuccinos. This culinary experience was a true delight, a perfect prelude to a restful night's sleep. The following day, we rose early, greeted by the gentle glow of the sun, eager to embrace the day. As we savored the coffee provided in our cabana, its invigorating aroma and rich flavor awakened our senses. We basked in the breathtaking views of the towering volcano from the comfort of our deck, serenaded by the captivating melody of birdsong. It was a tranquil moment, immersing ourselves in nature's symphony. We're about to take this coffee tour, Vanessa and I, so hopefully it comes out perfect. <laughs> the tour and the coffee, yeah. As we made our way towards the restaurant, we eagerly awaited the arrival of our knowledgeable tour guide, Miguel. We knew he would unveil the fascinating techniques used in the art of coffee bean cultivation. In Spanish, we call soldadito. It's a little soldier. It's this. The shape is like the coffee bean. And soldadito. Two weeks later, we have two leaves and we call mariposa. Remember, we graft when Arabiga is in soldier. So that's why when we can see the leaves, it's considered a good process. Well done. Se está bien hecho porque ya tenemos brotes. Arabiga grows under shade. So that's why we're trying to plant avocados and coffee together because avocados give shade for the coffee plants. Coffee has woven its way into the fabric of Guatemala's history since 1840. And as passionate coffee lovers, Vanessa and I always seek to explore the maraud of flavors and varieties it offers. At Finca San Cayetano, we discovered the meticulous cultivation process and realized the importance of getting every step right from the moment the coffee is planted until the final bean is harvested. It truly is an art that demands unwavering dedication and passion. Among the varieties we explored, Katura, an exquisite Arabic variety, delighted our palates with its pleasant sweetness, bright acidity, and medium body. Its aroma was simply charming, 
enhancing our senses. Bacamara, an exotic plant demanding meticulous care, rewarded us with an intense aroma that teased our olfactory senses. Its creamy texture coupled with moderate acidity and delightful sweet and fruity flavors created a symphony of taste sensations. Geisha, celebrated in barista contest, emerged as a favorite. While mild in character, its acidity lingered tantalizingly on the palate, and its aroma evoked a bouquet of citrus, mangos, papaya, peach, and jasmine. The proper extraction of a good coffee relies on the precise speed of water passage and optimal temperature. Understanding this process unlocks the full potential of a remarkable cup of coffee, where every sip reveals the culmination of flavors nurtured throughout its journey. Each sip of coffee invigorated us, leaving us feeling stimulated and content. It beckoned us to live each day with unwavering intensity, mirroring the passion and dedication treasured within each coffee bean as it journeyed for over 240 days, blooming in the fields. Please join us in our final episode as we discover the beauty of Lake Atitlan, Panajachel, Guatemala. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.